What if somebody was to say to you that in just three days time, you'd be moving house to a brand new house, new fitted kitchen, new bathroom, um, but the only problem is you're not actually allowed to see it before you move in. Hmm. This exact situation happened to me and my friend not so long ago. Uh, we knew that we needed to move house, but because of COVID-19, there was no way that we could go and see the house before moving in. So we went about ordering a washing machine, a fridge freezer, a wardrobe and it was exciting but it was also quite stressful because we thought well we don't know the dimensions we don't know if these items are gonna fit in the house or where they're going to go and praise God everything has fit as you can see and everything is marvelous but just for a moment there it did get quite stressful trying to organize all of these things and it's true isn't it very often if we have to move house it can be a very stressful situation i knew that there were lots of things that i needed to get rid of so i brought big heavy black sacks and i filled it with all of the rubbish from the old house that i didn't need and in other plastic bags i filled that up with all my clothes and shoes and books and things that i definitely knew that i needed now, how ridiculous would it be if I filled up all of those new bags with all my clothes in and all of my, my black bags with all the rubbish? How silly would it be if I just took those heavy black sacks of rubbish and put them in my new house? That would be very silly and nobody would do that because of course we don't need those things. But nevertheless, we do seem to have that attitude when it comes to eternal life and heaven. The Bible teaches us that we have two homes. We have our earthly home and we have our heavenly home, which is where we will live for all eternity with Jesus when this life passes away. In Matthew chapter six, it says, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where, the, and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. See, when we go to heaven, there's gonna be things that we can take with us, which we're gonna put in our metaphorical good, you know, clean bags. But there's also going to be some things that we can't take with us into our heavenly home. And we're going to unfortunately have to put those things in the black bags, in the rubbish tip, because those things have no place in heaven. These are things like worry, anxiety, fear. These are very real emotions that we feel here on this earth. But happily and excitingly, we cannot take those to heaven. There is no room in heaven for those feelings because heaven is perfect. So how does that apply to our day-to-day -day lives? Well, I think if we know that there are things we cannot take with us to heaven, such as fear and anxiety and worry, when those fears start creeping into our mind, we need to remember to put them in the emotional bin. We need to say no to fear. We need to say no to anxiety. We need to say no to worry. You have no place in my mind because I cannot take you with me. I cannot take you to my heavenly home. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, help us to be people who, when we have these feelings of fear or anxiety, Lord, that we would just put them in that emotional bin, that we wouldn't carry around these rubbish feelings with us everywhere we go, Lord. We wouldn't do that if we were moving house, and we certainly don't intend to do that here on this earth either. So Lord, let us be people who throw those feelings away and learn to trust in you more and look forward to our heavenly homes. In Jesus' name, amen.